Greetings, Daniel Presedo for Adobe Photoshop. And now we're going to look at bump maps and normal maps and how we can generate better bump maps and normal maps. So I have my model here, my mesh of 3D mesh of the thing. And I'm going to select the material. And you can do this two ways by clicking once and then twice. You'll see that it is selected here in the scene panel, the 3D panel, excuse me, 3D panel. And in the properties panel, you'll see the, them pop up, as well as just clicking in the 3D panel on the material. There are no normal maps. There are no bump maps. You would be indicated with an icon like this if there were something here. I'm going to generate a new bump map today. I'm going to select it by clicking on that folder and say generate bumps from diffuse. And immediately you will notice this new dialog pop up here that will allow you to change things here. And you know what? You can look at these contrast details and think about these sliders like sculpting tools in that the, the low here has big strokes, let me grab it here, with no detail really. The medium will start to give you some detail and then the high builds on all of these details. So as you push these things higher, it sculpts and gives you more detail. And if I throw them all up, you're gonna get some crazy looking effects here. So you can look for expressive new details. I'm gonna pull this back down a little bit here so I can get a bunch of cracks here, just make it a little bit over the top. You can build your own designs, whether you want a realistic look or a not so realistic look. And these are previews. These are not expected to um, actually land on the model and the texture. This is just so you can preview this inside this dialog. At first when I saw this and started using it, I was confused by this batch of um, UI here. Um, so remember, this is a material preview section here at the bottom. All the blurring and all the stuff and the nuances of the details can be controlled up top here. And you can certainly take all the blur out if you want. You have full control. You can even invert the height if you would like. I can give the thing maybe some scales kind of look here and increase the detail. Let's go ahead and process this. I'm going to go ahead and invert it again because I do want it to look like cracks on the thing's skin. You can even select, I should keep going here, different models to use for previewing. You could even load your, your own in that scenario. You would have to do that off disk um, and that would be another tutorial, but I'm not going to go into that here. Now, we can also control the view. So if you are looking at your model and you're going, whoa, I don't know what I did. We have a button in here that would enable you to reset the view so you can see your model again. You can even change the light presets um, for the view of the model if you wish. And now I think that covers it all. I'm going to say, OK, return my model with uh, the new bump map on here. And you can see there it is. It is actually on there. It is not super high detailed. We're going to push that up a little bit more here because I like the thing to look very thingy. And there we go. And I can do the same thing with the normal maps. Um, let's go ahead and open that dialog here. Select the materials. Generate normals from diffuse. And generally you will probably use one or the other um, depending on what your, your take is here. Same dialog same structure. You can generate the, the different normal maps here. I'm going to go ahead and cancel this out because I'm not going to do that right now. I like the thing the way he is and there he is. I hope this video was useful, enjoyable, and uh, if you have any questions please leave them on the channel and as always thank you for watching.